Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. It's Chef again, and I came back down to this cave because I wanted to do some mining, uh, get more redstone, get more supplies, and I followed this abandoned mine shaft for a long, long, long ways, and ended up getting myself very, very, very lost in it, which is okay because it's kind of cool. There's lots of stuff down here. Oop, I should make some torches while I'm back here. Um, the thing is, I'm very, very lost and have no idea how to get myself back out. Um, Oh well, I mean, I'll, I'll make something of it, so I figured I'd bring you guys in for the ride while I'm going. As you can see, I've gone through multiple more chests. Uh, I mean, there's chests everywhere in this thing, so I've gotten a lot of iron ingots, I've gotten a lot of seeds, I've gotten a lot of really cool stuff, but the thing is, there's also lots of enemies, lots of spiders, lots of cave spider spawners, um, skeletons around any, every corner. I've almost died a significant number of times, which is not what I was expecting when I came into here. I didn't think it'd be that dangerous, but, I mean, unfortunately it is. And as you can see, I've gone through a lot of these areas because I've been looping around and looping around and trying to get my way out of here, which I've been unsuccessful with, but that's okay. It opened up into a normal cave and into, I believe, a ravine uh, at some point that I've turned around and, and left there. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride since I'm just kind of stuck doing my thing and running around. What was over here? Gone that way. Oh, that's where I was hidden. Ah. I guess I can continue to grab this minecart track. My game volume is very, very low. Let me turn it up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud for the video, because I can barely hear it, and I know my game volume is... Oh, well, that was dumb. It's at a normal level. Uh, I'm going to have so much minecart track, I'm not going to know what to do with it, but I guess it'll help me build my, uh, my way in from the nether. so much. Look at all these bad guys. What, 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 what just happened? These mobs are so glitchy. It's, it's horrible. I found a lot more diamond too and uh, I can make some more diamond tools when I have the need. I want to enchant some diamond tools. Why is he on fire? Is he in some lava? There's a creeper down here, I know. Nope, that really confuses me now on why he is on fire. There's the creeper. Unless that's lava. Oh, that is lava down there. So he worked his way all the way up. Let's get rid of this lava. I guess I'm still going to mine some of this iron as I come across it. I've gotten a nice haul of iron, but uh, I still need more. Oh, you know what? I was going to say that I have to go back and use somebody else's crafting bench, but I have diamond, or uh, their enchanting bench, but I have diamonds, which is what you need to enchant stuff, or to make an enchanting table. I never actually made one before, though, so that'll be interesting to, to get that worked out. So let's see... My plan for the week has now changed. I, uh, I originally had... Because I'm a night shift employee and I do all these meetings for this computer project that I'm on. And we've been off for like a month uh, on this stuff while like other supplemental type activities get done for it. And I was supposed to have meetings all week, like Monday through Thursday. And I just got an email. Actually, it came a couple days ago. I just have been lax and checking my work email. Uh, because, I mean, I'm, in, I'm a nurse. I'm in a position where... We don't check email on a regular basis, but unfortunately, being a computer project, most of these people I'm working with are IT folk, and they, they have a desk job where they sit there and send emails all day, and I haven't been paying attention to it. And I guess they've 
limited the number of participants they want in next week's testing, which is, I thought it was more for us to, the build team, to get a bunch of stuff together, but I guess I was wrong on that. So they basically said that we need to pick up shifts at work because we're not going to be part of the, the testing environment right now. And that kind of makes it interesting because I don't have a schedule yet this week, which is not abnormal. I usually make it pretty last minute, but I kind of had planned on working day shifts all week, and now I'm going to be back on a night shift schedule, so I don't know what days I want to go into work and what I want to do. Um, it's going to change around some plans I've had for the week. Nothing big, but <clears throat> just different, so that'll be that'll be interesting to, to find out what I end up deciding to do, but that's really neither here nor there. Like, <laughs> it's not important to, to this video, nor to... That was my phone, if you couldn't tell. Um, it's not important to this video, nor is it important to like, you guys. It has absolutely no bearing on, on anything that I'm going to be doing here, there, or the other. Uh, is that really... Oh, it's just a... <laughs> it was just a Facebook alert that somebody posted on my wall. Because my email's open on my other computer monitor. And <laughs> I looked up and noticed that it was also there. So whenever I'm sitting in front of my computer and my phone goes off... And it's just something I also have an email of next to me. It, it annoys me, but obviously, like, the system doesn't know. But that's just... Oh, I think that extends back over there. I remember the first time I saw somebody do this with the lava in the water. And I was so impressed and amazed because I had no idea. I used to, every time I came to a lava... A lava area. I always pillared right across it, thinking that that was the most lucrative method. And obviously, that is not the case because look how quick that was. Can you imagine doing some of these complete the monument uh, challenges, having to bridge across all the lava? Like I thought that was the only way. Like I don't know what was wrong with me. I got lots of gold. Too bad gold really doesn't do much for you here. I mean, I can make some gold pants again, I guess. Okay, this area kind of scares me a little bit. I mean, considering it's just a big, gaping lava... Oh my god. Okay, I guess I wouldn't have fallen down anyway. So here's a nice ravine. I think I can follow that back generally to, to my base area, but... Which direction? I have absolutely no idea. Eventually, I'm going to end up just pillaring right on out of here, I think, because, yeah, I mean, I'm not even in the mind jabbed anymore, so I have... Bye-bye, zombie. It's going to be interesting when they change the new zombie AI, too, or the new mob AI. So, oh. I guess that's kind of dangerous over there. Because of the fact that they won't do things like that, and they'll try to... Oh, more diamond. Oh, Lots more diamond. Oh man. Five? No, get back here. Too bad I don't have a fortune pick or something like that. That would be really nice. Uh, I can't tell if there's anything lucrative back there. Whoa! Hi, fella. You came from up there. As wonderful as this is, is a monster trap. It's got to go. Get some of this upper area lit up. It just keeps winding. There we go. There's the end. Though there's obviously some zombies through this wall. I do not have a shovel. Thought they were through that wall. I mean, they're probably there somewhere. Oh! One of the main things I actually came back down here for and I have yet to come across is slimes. That was why I originally started this expedition, because I need to get sticky pistons. And uh, to finish my all my, my automatic harvesting, and I was thinking about it, and there's so many easier ways that I could do the my automatic harvester with the melons and the, and the pumpkins. I guess it's really not an automatic harvester, per se, because it still, you know, requires manually going back and picking up all the stuff, but it... 
it anything else that I do without using because I could have done it with only two pistons uh, and not even being sticky pistons just push the whole row one direction push it back the other direction but the thing is it wouldn't match anymore with the with the whole look of the village and because you would actually be able to see the pistons off to the side which I don't want which unfortunately makes it so that I need so many of the pistons and things like that which makes iron important which makes redstone important um, because I need to wire up a bunch more of them and things like that. Hence why I'm still mining, but I still need the slimes to make sticky pistons out of, because otherwise it's not going to do what I need it to do, and it's going to be really annoying. Man, I'm so low because I'm in the fog layer still, uh, not super deep into the fog layer, but I'm in it enough where it's where it's annoying. So I need to find my way back somewhere. If I can get back to where I was, I mean, eventually I'll probably loop around to to somewhere that's familiar to me so I can get back out, but, you know, I guess I should follow this. I guess if I'm on the hunt for slimes, following the ravine is probably the best bet because I will just expand into new areas and see if I can find anywhere that there's slimes Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Is this the ravine, though? This is the ravine. I don't want to run on the ground of the ravine, though, because that's going to be very dangerous. There's so much stuff around, but it's the best way to get anywhere. Okay, I think this takes me out to the ravine. There's definitely a creeper there. He should fall in the lava. Yep. There's gold. It's not that worth it to me to go get that gold. I guess it's not really hard to get. torches here in a minute. I'm going to have to make more. I seem to have a little bit of a stuffy nose. So I apologize if I keep sniffling it too. Whoa. Oh, that's um part of the abandoned mine shaft running through the ravine. Actually, I came across that, or at least, I mean something similar to it, when I was actually in the, the mine shaft itself. So I wonder if I can just get my way back over there. And see if it comes out to something familiar. Or at least run around this wall a little bit. Let's see if I can find any slimes anywhere on this damn map. I'm trying to be careful because there easily could be enemies that shoot me into... Let's do this. There we go. Now I'm... Slightly safer. Um, so does it just end here? I mean, it continues on over there. Do I gotta get to the other side? Looks like it treks its way all the way through this ravine. Come on, play some blocks. Well, that was kind of sneaky. Oh, I saved his life on accident. I was trying to make sure I didn't die. Hope he can't hit me. There we go. Oh, really? Really now? More gold. Well, I'm going to keep trekking my way through this thing and see if I can come up to slimes or or something cool and 
I guess I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, right around the corner, I'm like literally like three steps away from where I was at. I came across a skeleton, but there's cobble. So I have a feeling I found another skeleton spawner in this area. Oh, that one's a cool one. It's got a lava window in it. That's pretty sweet. What do we got in this chest? It's a double chest. Some iron, redstone. I really don't need any other stuff. I guess I'll just leave it there, but uh, I'm going to light this baby up. I'm going to take a little peek around this corner, but actually not go terribly far. Oh, it burned up my torch. Because I think, now that i found another one of these spawners, I'm going to dig another tunnel to the surface from here. I just want to see what's around. But this way I can kind of mark both my skeleton spawners and um, just kind of know where everything's at that I've been that I've been finding and working with. I think this is in the ravine. There's a lots of lava in this ravine. I'm hoping to just catch like a random slime or something around here. But unfortunately, I have not done such things. Okay. There's a lot more to explore over here, but let's try to find out where we're at and actually drop some of this stuff off and maybe get some uh, some more food since I'm down to two pieces of chicken, and that's it. So, yet again, right from this spawner, which way should I dig? Uh, I guess I'll just dig this way, and we'll see what we come to, and hopefully it'll be the surface or a breaking into another spawner right here. That would be kind of cool. So we will see. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I went back over and gathered some obsidian, and I gathered the obsidian so that I could make an enchanting table, as well as. Oop! I uh. Damn it! Let's trample some wheat, which I've got to fix at some point now. Um, as well as, I gathered enough obsidian because I want to replace my portal over here. So let's see, I got enough tools. I want to enchant a sword and enchant a pick. I figure what better place to do an enchantment than in a church. And I guess I can take out these stairs. I'll make a different type of altar. Oh, and my pick is gone. And I figure... What can I do? I need... I need a workbench to start. I know this room's a little small. It's not going to be perfect for... for an enchantment. Oh, I need this. Is it that? Oh, no, it's diamond. There we go. Enchantment table. Bam! And let's make some bookshelves to go along with this here. Four. I guess five bookshelves will be enough for now. So let's see here. What can I get with a diamond sword? And a diamond... Oh, I forgot that I needed some... some of that diamond for the enchantment table itself. Gotta grab... Oop. Total of three pieces. Let's make it while I'm up here. There we go.
and let's go on inside and see what we can get off of a diamond sword. I figure I can do two four level enchantments, or level seven enchantments, I mean. So, boom, knock back one. Not that great, but oh well. Oop, I had a level seven right there, and boom, efficiency one. Still not that great, but it's a start. Now, let's find a good house to make a portal room. Not that one. How about this one? This one looks like a good sized house. Um, it definitely wouldn't be even in this house. How about how about this house? That would be a nice even portal. But I have to knock out some of those walls. Is there a four wide house anywhere? Two, no. This is probably the best bet right here. It's kind of off to the side. Hmm. Unfortunately, it will not be even, which kind of sucks. Do I really care that much about it being even? What's this house have to offer up here? Um, blocks. What do I have for blocks? Oh, I have plenty of cobble. What's up, fellas? What's your backyard? Your backyard might be a good place for a portal. I think let's do that. It still won't be perfectly even, but you know what? That's okay. Whoa. All right. Because I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen when I build this portal. Ugh, I can't reach the top. I can always move it later. Well, I brought my flint and steel with me. I got a portal. Let's see if I go to my old portal. Or if it made a new one. I'm pretty sure this is my old portal. Since I just kind of came running through. Yeah, this is my old portal. I have no idea how to get back to where I was at from here. Now let's see where it takes me to. And it takes me to the original one that I had built that's in the ravine. Can we put this out? And it's nighttime, which kind of sucks. So this portal is now out. Right here by a spawner. I gotta get out of this ravine. <laughs> How did I get out in the first place? Oh, I took the water. That's right, I was in the water. Um, How did I do that? Obviously not up that way. I don't remember for the life of me what I did when I originally came in here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to find my way out and be back with you guys. Well, guys, you'll be happy to know that I made it back to my original base out here, and the reason that happened was because the water right in front of me was actually my pathway out. I forgot it led right into the my wa little water pillar here, so I'm just waiting for daylight. Gonna head back to the village and test the nether portal now and hope it, hope it functions to get me to and from my village instead of here since I disabled this one, so we will find out, but I will... Whoa! I will apparently 
not be doing very well since I almost just died. That was not good at all. Eat some food. I'm going to make my way back to my village. Okay, guys, I made it back. And without incident, by, by the way. And let's go test this portal now. And hope it actually puts... Did I just trample? No, I did not. See if this portal works now, as I'm hoping it will. Because this will take me into the nether. And it should take me back here now. But that's a big should. So we will find out. And it did not. Instead, it remade a portal by this one. Hmm. That's going to cause some problems. Don't know what to do about that. I guess I'll just destroy this one too. And hope for the best next time. I really want a... I should probably move... My nether portal is what I should do. Uh, to somewhere that it's going to come out to the right spot. That might be my next endeavor. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys. Got my coordinates. Time to enter the nether. I know where I have to go. Dividing those numbers by 8... I don't believe the Z cor or the Y coordinate matters. You know, negative 226, negative 340. Oh, I should destroy this one first. Let's see what this place has to offer for me. I actually brought another pick so that I don't have to mess with wasting my my diamond pick. I should put that on my bar right now. There we go. On nether rack since it's so easy. Negative 226 and negative... Three forty, so right, right here. Right here should be the spot. So let's see what happens. Ah, oh. whatever. Luckily, I seem to be relatively safe in in this whole endeavor. There we go. Light that baby off. Hey! There we go. Perfect. Now I don't have to deal with that other nether portal anymore. So now I've got a functioning nether portal. I need to make a little pathway over here. What I need to do. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to hang out. Maybe do some modifications of the village and hope you guys enjoyed.